Now, I want to get into your new bombshell info because we've got the Bushes, uh, you know, running down to South America and buying hundreds of thousands of acres. We've got so many of the elites leaving the U.S. because they know what they've done. They're getting ready to stage a civil war here. At least that's the word. Uh, you've got some bombshell info for us, uh, uh, Mr. Rojas, so uh, drop it on us. Well, I find out that uh, many elitists are buying uh, lands in the south of, of Chile, both in Argentina and Chile. Uh, Ted Turner, uh, for instance, uh, who was the founder of CNN, uh, he has a lot of uh, land in Argentina. Even Henry Paulson um, has uh, uh, bought uh, a lot of land in Tierra del Fuego uh, in the south of Chile under the Patagonia Conservation Land Trust. Uh, the most important uh, here that I wanted to talk about uh, that is also connected to the Rockefeller Foundation is Mr. Douglas Tompkins, a so-called ecologist and global warming um, uh, believer and overpopulation believer. These people are crazy. These people believe that the world is overpopulated, but they have a, a vast lands and, you know, <laughs> it's like... Well, really, no, that's their admitted plan. They say they're going to get rid of us and live on giant plantations. Exactly. He has more than 2 million acres, uh, both in Chile and Argentina, Pumalin Park, uh, Concorvado Park and others. And I have here a, a copy of a newspaper uh, from 2001 where uh, the lawyer of uh, Douglas Tompkins uh, admits that um, to buy that land, they use uh, money from the Ford Foundation and the Rockefeller Foundation uh, through uh, grants. Uh, some, some years ago, and I can send you these uh, links, Alex, uh, to this uh, Chilean news articles, uh, a newspaper called La Tercera covered, that, um, the, uh, covered the fact that uh, uh, Rockefeller <clears throat> is one of the most important uh, people that gives us grants uh, to the ecologists uh, here in Latin America so they can buy land and give it to UNESCO as you covered in your film, uh, your first film. And then they America personally... And then they right. personally move in onto it. Same thing in Mexico. We wonder why we're being overrun with all these poor people. God bless them. It's because in the 70s and 80s, they kicked the people off their ancient land, made them go to Mexico City, and then to the U.S. This is so cold-blooded. Exactly. Well, uh, so you have uh, that uh, the, uh, Mr. Rockefeller and the Rockefeller family and the Rockefeller Foundation has a very special interest in the south of Chile. And you can see that... Uh, right now, because David Rockefeller is moving to the south of Chile, um, now on vacations with this uh, guy, uh, Agustin Edwards, to an Iceland. And, uh, now, 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 stop you there, because yeah. you have this internally from a media source. We're going to leave that alone. Same source that told you where he was going to be. He, David Rockefeller is exiting the United States. I'm not sure about that, but right now here's in, uh, he's uh, here in Chile. According to my source, he will be here uh, at least for 10 days. But you can see how uh, the blueprint for the takeover of, of Chile is happening uh, in the south, buying all of this but land. But to be clear that uh, I misheard you, yeah. so David Rockefeller is not moving to Chile. No, no. Nothing confirmed uh, now. Uh, well, the word I've got is, is that, uh, well, we know the Bushes and others are all moving down to that general area. Uh, but... Uh, You've got the news articles there about how much land he owns. Amazing. We'll be right back with our guest in 60 seconds, and I look forward to having him back up as a correspondent for us down there in South America in beautiful Chile.